zipper is one of the most common types of fastening in footwear. So today in this shoe making tutorial I will teach you how to make zipper with any length to match boot with any height, high boot, low boot or in between. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. So let's get started. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. So to create boots with a zipper, you should have zipper with the exact length of your boot. For example, for this high boot, I will need to have long enough zipper that will suit for this length. But what you can do if you can't find a zipper with a exact length? There is a way how you can shorten any zipper according to the measurements of your ankle boot. Uh, I could not ankle boot, any boot, okay? For example, what you can do if you will work with short boot with the low top line. What is important here is to have a long enough zipper. It not exactly must be with the same length. It, it could be a little bit longer. So you can make it shorter. There is an exact way how to make it shorter. And right now I will show you. For example, I have this zipper and you can see that it's too long. So I don't need to search for this exact length. I can make the zipper shorter. First step is to measure the exact length of the zipper. And you can measure it using your pattern. So this is the opening for the zipper. You can place it like this, where the top of the zipper stays on the line of your top line, match the line of the top line, and then you need to mark the end of your zipper that you have on your upper pattern. Mark with some pen, pencil, marker to see this mark. Here you see, this is the line where the zipper will be here on the upper pattern. So I can make shorter it from the top because if I will cut here, you will ruin the zipper and you will take off the top of your zipper, okay? So we can make shorter this zipper only in the end, but not just cut it and that's it. We need to have the stopper because without the stopper, if you will cut here, when you open it, it will open even if you will sew here to the upper. So we can't just cut it and that's it. We need to take this stopper from this place and place it exactly on the place where we'll start the beginning of the zipper. And this is the mark of the, with this place where the zipper starts. So you need to have some plier, some owl and open here the stopper. It has few teeth, pins like teeth that you need to open. You see this teeth, like teeth, I don't know how to call it. You need to open it from both sides. I use owl to open it. It's always in Y side. It has three tips and on the other side two. I don't know why, but this is the situation. So one, on one side I have two, on the other side I have three. Be very careful to not hurt yourself with the owl. So place away your fingers from the tip of the owl. Now let's take it off. I teach how to do it precisely on my boot course where I uh, teach also how to place a zipper and sew it to the leather upper 
working with simple flat bed sewing machine. So there is a way how to do it and I teach it in my high wood course. And uh, right now you have great possibilities to sign up to this bundle courses where I combined two courses together how to make high heel boot step by step and how to create ankle boot and you can find a link to this course in the description below this video here when we finished our uh, our work here we will place here the stopper which I took off before it will be from this edge the hammer if I remember we make smaller and that's why here these lines match each other on the bottom of the last and this is how it must be it's very beautiful so after we took it away from our zipper you see it uh, banded the edges banded a little bit so we need to flatten the, them with the plier and spread them well to be able to place them again on the right place where we marked place of the beginning of our zipper so you see how it looks it has three teeth on one side and two on the other side and I use here YKK zipper for the boots, for the shoes. There is difference between zipper for clothes and for shoes. So when you buy zipper, make sure that you buy for the shoes. Okay, and you see it's flat on both sides. So what we need to do right now is to place here when we have a mark. And make sure that you place exactly on this mark. Just a little bit, I need to bend it to make it flatter. So I will place it here, beyond the mark, not under the mark, behind the mark, beyond the mark. Place it. It goes through the fabric of the zipper. You see? Let's, before we will close it, let's see if we made it correctly. You see, the end, the top of the zipper arrives until the top line. And make sure that this is the basic pattern of your upper, because if it would be upper pattern of your upper and you will have uh, folding, here it will be longer with the folding. Don't consider the folding, it must be without the folding, because you will close the folding, you will fold it and it will be shorter. So that's why you should measure the length of your zipper working with basic pattern of your boot. So we checked the length of the zipper and after we are sure that this is the right placement of the stopper, we can move on and close the zipper. So you see how it looks? You should push it till the end until you will see the edges of this stopper on the other side and then working with hammer we can bend these edges of the stopper i will pull it a little bit more with the plier and then close with the hammer now if you made a mistake and place the stopper not in the right place or you can change if you, for example, decided to make this length shorter or longer, you can fix it right now. Take it off and place it in the right place according to the length of your zipper. And after that, only after you are sure that you finished with the zipper, they choose the right length, you can cut off the extra of the zipper because all this end we don't need. If we will leave it on our upper pattern, you see, it will bother our upper uh, during plastic and it's better to cut it out, leaving few centimeters for extra to have it here under our upper. Okay, so make same thing for second half of your boots, working with the same approach. Okay, so 
That's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. Thank you again and see you in the next video. Bye.